Okay, moving on and moving on. So now I am going to try to address the steering. So I bought a TRZ uh, aftermarket steering shaft, whatever you want to call it, for a Fox body. And uh, what my plan is, is I just took the factory piece of metal that was there out. Now I'm going to tack it together because it's a two-piece deal. And then I'm going to make a template and I'm going to use the TRZ stuff. Basically, this is for a Fox body and that plate is for a Fox body. And it's got this round piece here. Once you tighten those up, it locks the shaft into place. And it comes with this uh, thing here. It's got all these adjustments, different adjustments. So I've taken the factory pedal assembly out. There's this big bracket here. I don't need that anymore. As you can see, the dash doesn't come out of this car and I was gonna maybe cut it out so it can come in and out, but there's actually quite a bit of room underneath here. Uh, so I don't know if I'm gonna do that. Uh, that's gotta stay in. Those are the windshield wipers. Those gotta stay in. So without that being here, um, that TRZ thing, I think we'll bolt right in there and then go down through that hole. Then when I have the cage put in and the crossbar comes across, uh, that won't be here. Those will be sealed up. But when the crossbar comes across, I'm going to use uh, the tilt and pedals. I'll have whatever bore master cylinder I need for the TVM brakes. And I don't want to have anything in my firewall, on the outside of the firewall, that's brake and clutch related. Um... I'll pretty much weld all these holes up. Probably won't do those two because those are where the wires come for the headlights and stuff like that. So I may still use that. I don't know, we'll see. But I'll weld all that stuff up and all the pedal stuff will stay back there underneath the dash um, where you won't even have any of this stuff here. You're just gonna have the steering column come out and that, that'll be that. So this is the factory piece. I'm just gonna put a tack here. And I tack down here so that this thing's together. Then I'll pull the rubber piece off and I'll make a whole new one with the hole centered here for the steering column. this cut out and you can see that's where the hole was and how close or easy this is going to be to get this where I want it and mark it out and then I'm going to have to cut this center hole out but we'll get it. plate done now I'm gonna put this ring and that ball back on
right, so we got, so we ran into a problem. Uh, my hole saw was two inch, and see how it's a little bit bigger? It wouldn't capture the ball. So I took the TRZ plate and basically cut that piece out, and then I welded it to here, and then this will this will go on the other side. Now that we have that out of the car, I need to drill all those holes and I'm going to put um, like rib nuts right there so that I can just screw it in that way. As you can see on the time lapse, I put the rib nuts in there. I had to bend that panel because the way the firewall goes, I had to bend it a little bit. I didn't want to bend it too much because I didn't know if the ball would work like it's supposed to, but I have that in. Now the next issue is that this is kind of too wide to go in there. See how that is so I think I'm gonna just I'm either gonna cut it right here and cut the little loop out or I'm gonna cut it down here and just weld a new piece on and then I'll make my own bolt holes not sure yet all right let me show you what I got <clears throat> here so before this was welded like that I cut that off. I'm going to weld it on like this. And I'm going to weld these on like that. I had to shorten this up because it was way too long to fit in the factory spot. And then once I get this all welded back up, I'll take it all apart. I'll, I'll mock it up first, then I'll take it all apart and I'll have this piece repowder coated. got that all welded letting it cool and now i need to this is the trz um steering this is like the shaft i drilled some holes i need to press this down in there and then i need to weld this up too okay so i got the steering shaft in i had to modify the bracket as you guys saw let me grab a light So that's what it looks like coming through. There's a little gap at the bottom, but that's because the firewall bends so much. And if I bend the if I bend that plate to match the firewall, then I don't think I'll be able to get the column through there or the shaft, whatever you want to call it. So I'm gonna have to unbolt all this stuff because I'm gonna this bracket. I had to modify that bracket 
You guys see me welding that. I had to modify that, but I'm gonna get that repowder coated black. Um, that's kind of what it looks like in here. Um, I need to call TRZ that when you buy this, obviously this was for a Fox Mustang, and when you buy it, they only send you one of these collars. Well, I want two. I want once we get the length of this thing right, because obviously the length is wrong right now because I don't have a seat. So there's a whole bunch of extra stuff here. And what I may do is chop it down and I could get an extension for the steering wheel, but um, I welded the end on. I welded that end into the uh, inner shaft, but I want to have a collar right there on both spots, just because I do. Um, a little tight So I'm gonna ask them what lube to Recommend maybe maybe it needs to have some KY on it or something. I don't know um, But It's pretty nice Be able to take the steering wheel off um, So That's done for now uh, obviously, when I get a a seat, then I'll this will be a little bit easier. Um, so I probably won't cut any of that stuff down until I get a seat in it. I need to get pedals. I'm gonna, like I said, there's gonna be a bar that goes across when the cage gets put in, and I'm gonna get pedals um, that attach to that deal and hopefully i can have everything inside the car i don't have to have anything in the engine compartment for pedal wise but i'll get the seat in and then i need to get the t56 put together and um and set in here i'm pretty confident that the tunnel is gonna have to be cut to get the t56 in this car uh, but all that's gonna depend on once i get the motor set in there and all that stuff. I have a T56 here, it's in a million pieces, so it'll probably be a project for me to get it all put back together. I bought the parts that I needed way back when. Uh, actually got them for Christmas for my mom years ago. But I'll get everything out for the T56 and, ins and inspect it. It ain't gonna be no tick performance set up right from the get-go. It'll just be a T56 with some good parts in it and we'll see what happens. So really can't get a seat location until I have a, like I guess where the stick shift's gonna come out. And I can't even hang the pedals because I don't have a bar in there. So um, I may be able to get a bar in there and just kind of like guess. Um, but I think I'm gonna have somebody do the cage in this car. I've got somebody in mind, I've talked to somebody. Um, so I'll just kind of leave it at that for now, but my goal, I guess, before I took it to that person was to have the back half done, the rear end in it, um, leaf springs moved in, all that stuff. Before I take it to him, that way, when uh, he does his deal, he can land bars in certain places. But I'll hold off on that until until later. Um, talking to him, uh, he said, yeah, you need to see, yeah, we need a transmission location for the shifter, um, pedals, so I have a little bit of work ahead of me before I can get it to that point, and I still want to get the car blasted too. So uh, at least blast it in, in, in epoxy primer before it goes to him. But I'm going to keep working and working and working out here and trying to keep getting some content going. Uh, powder coat people told me Tuesday. It is now Saturday, so they told me um, Tuesday before I got my stuff back. So probably what I'll do Sunday, tomorrow Sunday, I work tomorrow night, is... Uh, I may take all this stuff apart. That way when they call me at the powder coat place, I can have the plate that I made and the bracket that I modified. I can have all that stuff um, powder coated. And um, as you can see here, there's all kinds of holes for uh, adjustment to move this thing up and down. You just gotta loosen up that ball. Um, so I may be able to even shove this thing up higher. It just kind of depends where my seat's gonna land, really. Um, I want it to be comfortable so I can bang gears. Um, but at any rate, that's done. 
Um, I may have a problem with my shock towers. <clears throat> so Matt had told me, or if you look at Matt's car, he's rounded his instead of make it, you know, it's like a 45 or whatever the heck it is. Um, and so if you look down in here, when the strut comes up, you know, it's real close right here, real, real close. So we'll see what happens, but I may have to cut this out. I want to get the K member back and get it all back mocked up and then I'll know um, how close this is. I thought I had plenty of room when I was eyeballing it before I cut it all apart, but um, no big deal. If I've got to, if I've got to cut that out, then I can make something on the back side just to give me a little bit of room. Uh, but that's no big deal. So we'll see. We'll get the we we'll get everything back from powder coat. We'll get all mocked back up in here. Uh, I still have a lot of holes that need to be filled in here. And um, I think I'm going to modify the firewall just a little bit. Like where the gas pedal, it's got that bulge. I may do some slicing and just weld that shut so it's flat. I'm going to weld those holes up. Like I said, I don't know if I'm going to keep those holes uh, over here for the wire stuff yet. Not sure. Um, I need to get the spot welder drill tool and I want to get that stuff out so that that's nice and clean. And then uh may order a Fox radiator. And I'm thinking about cutting this out on both sides and then get the radiator sitting in here and we'll just look at that i i may uh i'm not decided if i'm going to use a fox style radiator or if i'm going to use like an sn95 radiator something for like a 04 cobra or something like that i kind of like the way the 04 or SN cars, um, how they have the grommet and the radiator kind of sits in that, although they use an expansion tank. So I don't know, something I need to think about and brainstorm. But um, the problem with losing everything off the front of this car is uh, the fenders went, you know, maybe not so big of a deal up there, but up here, they kind of capture here and then they use that hole there uh, or that might be the support hole, but it nonetheless the fenders bolt here, so it's a little different than like a fox where you can just lop all that stuff off and you can still get your front end on. So, um, I don't know where this is going to end up in the video, but I'll probably pick back up when I go to the powder coater.